Um, right. Won't give people the right to take away from me my family and everything for the fact that I have a little girl or a little boy. Because from what we're reading and what we're looking up and the facts that we are getting is that people, no, I'm not trying to go people like you because it's not that, it's people that support the Safe Schools program. Yeah. But yeah. it's not a you and us sort of yeah. thing. It's a okay. adult conversation. It's not trying to start a fight. Just want to know some things. Yeah, like we're being told, and the things that we're reading is they're going to do a program in year eight, nine, and ten where girls will be strapping down their breasts, where boys will be pumping. Like one, one that I come across um, that just comes to mind is uh, some of the flashcards that the teachers are given to uh, as part of the pack to use, use for the kids. Um, and one of them it says, uh, you're a 16 year old girl, you've been sexually active since you were 12, with multiple sex partners, multiple partners and you don't use protection. Okay, go role play. From what I've been told, that, that's set up for 11 year olds. something to do like you know I don't think that teachers are probably be safe places. not a safe place yeah it should be a safe place for everyone yeah. you know like I, I feel that um, we do need something I, I understand that you know there are some gay and transgender people that need protecting from their parents especially you know that are against it and they they need protecting that's sure but I think with this program it's it, it's going too far it's pushing it into everyone and shoving it in everyone's face and we don't need that we need something set up for these people to be able to get assistance and protection and I think this is all just the wrong way of going about it. Well, you know, we can have a constructive discussion then about what kind of model and program would actually work for our community. Yeah. But yeah. that's not what something like today does. Today says, the message you're sending very clearly is you want the thing shut down and out of schools altogether. That's what well, we would understand. Well, that, that's well, exactly sorry. what we do want now. Okay. Well, then we you know, we need to start again. It's about how to make schools safe. We end up having a conversation. Well, it's, having a, it's having an oxymoron. Calling it safe yeah. schools is an oxymoron. No, okay? No, it's, it's not. It's not safe. It's unsafe. It's, it's unsafe. And who is, that, who is, who is okay. creating safe and inclusive is education environments unsafe for? Who is, who is made 
So you're, 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 saying you're saying that, but it is not. You know, I've been shown How much. Is it unsafe? You, you, you tell me one example. Well, I've just given that. So, so creating, creating. That is create, not part of the curriculum. That's not taught as part of the program. We're more than happy to discuss. Okay, okay so program. you're saying that we can pick and choose from the program, but how do we know what's going to be picked and choose? Just to, to allow. So, I, I, all right, so I'm just going to keep getting talked over. I don't think that's getting anywhere. changing the names of the other bit because the story is there is a four-year-old boy in New South Wales that is now going under like starting the medication at the transgender reassignment surgery okay safe for, for my children. I don't believe it's safe for my children to be given certain, have the teacher or a centralised program decide what my kids learn about sex. That's my job. And what you're saying, what you're saying is that I'm not going to be able to do the right job. And these guys are saying that we're, we're anti-queer and we're anti-gay and we're homophobic. We're, we're completely opposite to that. We're not homophobic. If my child was gay, straight it doesn't matter to me we, we love them all the same what we're talking about is we're talking about the introduction of a program that teaches other kids how to be gender fluid if they weren't already going to do it so to me it's more like a a, a, a marxist program to to put over the top of everybody to stop us from having children it's like anti-family it's anti-catholicism family judo christian values that's what it is that's the problem and all you guys give us is rhetoric hypotheticals this is what could happen but we don't know that that's going to happen and that's what we're standing up against is, sorry, these the stupid is, is that i know you're sorry you should go and take it away is that why you were calling them pedophiles today no that i doesn't didn't call seem... anybody a pedophile uh, I said a lot of your one of your leaders was yelling out pedophiles continuously my I'm, the, I'm my leader thank okay. you very much I'll lead my way through a protest. Yeah, have a safe schools program. Have what you want, what you think is okay. But don't go pushing it. Don't try and disassociate yourself with New South Wales and Victoria because it really is a bad image. It really is. Like, seriously, they, the safe schools program was brought up with this four year old boy. They go, oh, the safe schools program is there to protect you from being and all that. It's not going to happen. You're losing faith in pragmatism of families and people's parents to be able to make the right decisions in and around the sexuality of their children. And you're taking that away from them because you're actually telling the children how to hide it from them so that they do get this indoctrination whether the parents agree with it or not. It's true. You've obviously read it. I'm not putting two things together at all. You're losing faith in pragmatism. People going, oh, we stand for safe schools, we stand for New South Wales, we stand for this. And you're all putting it in one bracket. Do you know what you're all putting your hands up for if you're all in one bracket? Oh, Instead no, of us saying, putting things into one bracket, I see you guys putting everything in one bracket and putting everything in one Because this is okay. what we're being told. We're being told that ACT, New South Wales, Victoria, and whoever else is going to have safe schools, it's all the same. This is what we are being told. Now, so, uh, what I want you to do is to go through, have a look at what New South Wales is standing for. A four-year-old boy getting sex change and that. My daughter wants to be a fucking minion. Do you think I'm going to go and get a tattoo jello? <laughs> sorry. No, but it's true. Sorry. Sorry. It can no, be really that ridiculous. That's, that's ridiculous. that's how ridiculous safe school sounds yes. to us. I want to be a helicopter. Okay. Exactly, that's an attack bad. helicopter. That's it's right. It's bad. So, 
Mate, the my favourite meme. program has put their hands up in New South Wales and gone, yeah, we stand for this, we'll stop this team from being bullied, it's no one else's problem, blah, 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 blah. So you can catch yourself, not, not use to catch yourself, but the people like them and everyone else have tagged themselves onto that. We can't actually speak for those other people and we're not here to represent those other yeah, people. But this, what we're here today is to talk about the why, Safe Schools Coalition ACT. And what we do in Canberra, Canberra is a very different space to New South Wales, is a very different space to Victoria. The way we implement the program is very different here, and that's why we're here. But we're happy to okay. talk to you okay. and share with you what we do in Canberra that's different. Well, then how the about work change that we do the in name. Canberra. Change the name, do more advertising, get out there, get out the paper. Don't go. associate we're not with like New South Wales. Have those extra bits in it. Great, let's have a look at it. With those other organisations, what we are concerned about is that the model that and you I'm suggest sorry. is occurring is not what's actually occurring. We're not suggesting a model, we're just suggesting no Safe Schools program from the Safe Schools Program Coalition. That's it. Right. And so we, want, we don't want, do want it to go away. We do, we do want it to go away. I don't want centralised schooling. I want the schooling to be brought back to to the schools. I understand you say, but it's up to... Is that, oh, yeah, but, but you're forcing it onto the schools. Make your choice, A or B. That's not the way it works. That's not how the program works. Well, you've been missing. No, well, I, I don't believe so. I, I, I believe the Safe Schools program is. It, it's got nothing to do with educating kids about bullying. It's got nothing. It doesn't address the actual bullies. These people are yelling at us all day about you know being homophobic and all those sorts of things. They should go and yell at the bullies. We're not the bullies. Well, you were yelling at them and calling them pedophiles, so I, I how is that any different? Okay, you weren't personally, but members members of the rally that you're with today were calling them pedophiles, so how can you object to being called homophobic? Spinning our words around, not once did anybody call anybody a particular name. Yes, they did. I have that on video. I characterised them as who they were, and yet... The bullies are still out there bullying kids. So you deny that there was someone yelling out pedophile? That was you, sir. Why were you calling them pedophiles? This program supports pedophilia. The founder, co-founder, one of them, and I said that in my speech over there, you can see that that's up on my video, where the, one of the founders has said that pedophilia needs to be accepted as part, a wider part of the LGBTI community, so LGBTIP. So you believe the way to have an intelligent adult conversation about this issue is through name calling? Is that the example that you wish to set to children? <laughs> You're being real good here. I'm sure you're one of the ones doing the same thing there. I'm just asking the question, sir. I'm letting you answer them. Well, this is the way it turned out. It was meant to be a peaceful process here with um, a demonstration of just a few speeches. And yeah, there were there were some things being called out. I called out that you're supporting pedophilia. Yes, that is what I said. You're supporting pedophilia. So are you saying that um, I, I don't have a right to say that? I don't have the right well, to you say Actually, like, no, that's you were calling them. Your question. Why don't you answer my question without answer, asking another question? I am. You are calling them pedophiles, not just said, saying that it was pedophilia. Them. There's a difference. Yeah, see, now what you're doing is you're just answering the question with another question. So I'm pointing out there's a difference. So, so you're not actually willing to give an answer, are you? You just want to no, shout no, rhetoric. I'm giving an answer to a left-wing bigot like yourself that keeps answering questions with questions. You know, I told you how it was, I said what it was, and you're just continuing on. Just as I said, I was talking here before, and I kept getting spoken over, and I said, well, you're all sitting here saying you want a serious discussion or a, di uh, a discussion here, and then I just keep getting talked over. So That's why did you call them pedophiles? Happen. Because the Safe School Program is pretty much supporting pedophilia. It, it's indoctrinating and getting it ready for pedophilia. And, and they're trying to lower the age of consent right now, it's not right. So how is that any different okay, to them I've calling you homophobic? How is that any different to them calling you homophobic? It's the same thing. 